welcome. My name is Danielle. I'm here from Genetic today to talk to you about oily combination and acneic skins and the products that we have to treat that condition at home. Now with genetic, acne is a very big subject and when we talk about acne, we really need to look at different things rather than just looking at what we're seeing on the skin. And genetics always taken a holistic approach to treating acne. And what I mean by that is we need to look at clients' diet, we need to look at medication, any medical history that they have. And those are the things that we're gonna take into an account as we go through this presentation today. The products that we're going to look at today are Derma, Sebeger, Octo, Peugeot, and Mixed and Oily. So the first thing we're going to look at here is skin types. Now, when we're born, we're born with a skin type. So skin type is determined by genetics. It's a skin type we're actually born with, and it doesn't change. The condition of our skin can vary greatly according to various internal and external factors. So again, we're taking into account those different factors from medication, from um, any illness, from our diet, so acne is not necessarily a sign of oiliness. The skin can be sensitive. It can become inflamed with an impaired hydrophilic film, and it can have poor immunity. The first step with genetics philosophy has always been to restore the skin barrier and the microbiome. So we're working to rebalance the skin function and the skin immunity. So looking again at those skin types, an oily skin type, and I have an image here of an oily skin, we can see we've got enlarged pores, the skin will look shiny, we can have a dull or thick complexion. Often you'll have blackheads, pimples, congestion, and other blemishes that are apparent on the skin. Combination skin, and we've got this image here, and often what we look at is a T-zone. We have dry patches in areas, we can have oiliness, patches of normal skin, but generally we have that shiny or oily T-zone area. Again, we can have open pores and blackheads. The skin in other areas, though, can be dehydrated or dry. Now, not a skin type, but I just wanted to add in here juvenile skin. So this is clients that are younger. So when clients are in their early teens, they can present with a few breakouts links to changes in the hormones. Can be a mix of congestion, redness, blackheads and pimples. Often found in children and teenage up to around the age of 18. So moving on now, I just wanted to talk about this tool. So we've talked about the holistic side of treating acne. And what I mean by that is looking at any internal dysfunction. And one great way of doing that is by using face mapping. If you haven't seen face mapping before, it's the ability to see the reflection of the body's organs on each part of the face by observing the face's complexion. Now, I've got a picture here from a wonderful book by Fiona Tuck called The Forensic nutritionist. It's an excellent image. Now Fiona says, from a Chinese medicine perspective, different areas of the face are believed to be linked to different organs. So there's lots of different things that we can look at, but when we're focusing on acne, let's have a look here. Pimples around the jawline um, and around the chin area here are often in linked to menstrual cycles or high stress. So often if you think about it, when your period's due, you might start to get breakout in this area, often on the cheek, uh, sorry, on the chin here. We can get a pesky um, breakout on this area and that's gonna be linked to our hormonal cycle. Now pimples found on the forehead and the top of the cheeks here, they're often linked to digestive issues and will indicate imbalances and dysfunction in the gut, maybe from food intolerances or to food uh, bad food choices, except consuming large amounts of processed foods, high gluten, and maybe not enough fiber in the diet. Another area to mention here is just the liver. You may find that's between the eyebrows. If you've had a weekend where you've maybe had a little bit too much to drink, you can perhaps get some breakout here. And that area there is linked to the liver. So again, this book, if you want to get it, The Forensic Nutritionist and Fiona Tuck talks a lot about face mapping, but you'll find it in a lot of different areas. And it is an excellent tool to really see what's going on internally when we look at where the breakout is. So here we're gonna look at digestive acne, which we just talked about. And digestive acne presents with breakouts across the forehead and on the cheek area. So when we look at digestive acne, this is where it's really important that you do your consultation correctly with the client. Look at what they're eating, how their diet is, how their digestion is, all of these things, any uh, medical history around the gut, this is something that we need to really look at when we're starting to treat digestive acne. So just using topical skincare is not going to cut it. You've got to look what's causing it. 
So there are several gut disorders that have a direct link to acne, including um, leaky gut syndrome, SIBO, or that's small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, and our digestion, that elimination is really important as well. And diet, obviously, dietary deficiencies are directly linked to acne. So vitamin and mineral deficiencies are a very common source of neglect. So we're just not getting that in our diet. And minerals and vitamins are essential for over 600 processes in the body, including how the skin looks. Work alongside a good nutritionist or a naturopath or maybe look at stocking a nutritional support range. If you really want to help clients, you've got to look where that cause is coming from. And as I say, find a naturopath, find a nutritionist, and refer clients to them. And as I say, there are lots of ranges out there that you can sell nutritional support within your salon as well that's going to help complement what we're doing topically on the skin. So again, diet, a diet high in processed foods that are poor in essential nutrients. So if we're lacking those amino acids, the vitamins, the minerals, and those essential fatty acids, it's going to impact how the skin looks. Dairy intolerances, medications, as I said, stress, sleep deprivation, all of these things can lead to dysfunction of the digestive system and result in a form of acne. Now, with genetic, we have our retail line to use on the face. But Dr. Laporte, the creator of Genetic, as I said, he's always looked at things from a very holistic side. So he actually has a body product called Adipogaster. And Adipogaster is used on the tummy and you can do it on the soles of the feet. And that will actually help improve digestion and help improve elimination. So a tip, in the case of digestive acne, it's recommended that clients use Adipogaster cream at home on their stomach in combination with a prescription facial home care routine. So we're really looking at treating the cause not just a symptom when we're treating with genetic. Moving on to the next slide, we're looking at hormonal acne, and I've got images here. Hormone, hormonal acne, as we said earlier, will present with pimples or cysts predominantly on the jawline and a lot around the chin area. So hormonal acne, although it's typically associated with hormonal fluctuations and can occur during puberty, acne can be linked to hormonal imbalances, conditions such as endometriosis and polycystic ovary syndrome. Those underlying conditions are going to reflect on the skin. And if you're not addressing that, just using those topical products is not going to give the client the result that they want. You also need to look at whether they're on the contraceptive pill as well. Clients that have perhaps just come off the contraceptive pill, all of those um, conditions that have been repressed while they're on that medication are going to start to come out in the skin. Again, your vitamin, serious deficiencies in vitamin B6, your folic acid, vitamin D and E, minerals such as zinc and magnesium, combined again with that lack of essential fatty acids are also going to contribute to what we're seeing on the skin. Now, again, Dr. Laporte created a body product to use in combination with hormonal acne treatment. And in this case, he spent 10 years studying the bust and the bust area linking directly to the ovaries. And we know that the ovaries produce those hormones. Now, the bust range from genetic will actually help to regulate that hormonal function of the ovaries. It will help to improve your period cycle. It sounds really unbelievable, but it was one of the things that made me fall in love with genetic when I first started working with it. The bust range, you can do a treatment in salon and you have free home care products that they can use. And it's not overnight, but the results really do start to come and you'll get a reduction in hormonal acne. It'll help to normalize periods. And also it's a fantastic range for clients that are going through menopause. It really does ease the symptoms of menopause. So a tip there, in the case of hormonal acne, it is recommended that the genetic bust range is used on the bust area in combination with a prescriptive facial home care routine. The bust range has three products. It's got Ceno Lotion, Endo Lotion, and Macro Cream. One or all of the products may be needed. Now we can't talk about skin and acne without talking about the liver. So let's look at what the liver does. So the liver basically filters blood from the digestive tract. It collects those nutrients, the carbs, the protein, the fat, the vitamins that we need, eliminates toxins and waste products, and it detoxifies chemicals. Now it metabolizes drugs and medication, including supplements. Nutritional and environmental toxins enter the body and make their way to the liver via our food water, air, chemicals, pesticides, and personal products such as deodorants and makeup. So when the liver is not functioning correctly, it has a buildup, a bit like a rubbish bin, and the toxins get scored and stored and eventually overflow and cause havoc in the body. The skin then tries to help the body eliminate. And remember that our skin is an organ of elimination. And if that liver function is not working well, that skin has to take up some of that work, and it's going to show on the skin. 
So we're going to see things like inflammation, acne, both hormonal and digestive. We're going to get premature aging, pigmentation, congestion. The skin's going to look dull, lifeless. These external symptoms on the skin is the body's way of communicating with us and trying to show us there's a problem that needs correcting. Remember, treat the cause, not just the symptom. So let's start to have a look at some of the home care products that we have from Genetic that helps to topically treat, taking into account all of that, doing a good consultation, finding out their medical history, finding out any dietary um, conditions they might have. And we take all that into concern and then we move on to looking at topical treatment. So our first product here is our Derma Cleansing Gel. It's a beautiful cleansing gel, this. It deeply cleanses the skin. It's not going to damage the skin's barrier. Derma will help to disinfect and clear oily and acneic skins. It's lightly foaming. If you have water with it and foam it up, you'll get a light foam with it. Derma is ideal to remove excess oiliness while being moisturizing, and it helps to balance the skin's pH. It's not irritating. Remember that derma can also be used on the body as well. So if plants are getting breakout on the arms, on the chest, and on the back, you can also use it on those areas. So who is Derma Cleanser for? It's for acne prone skins, oily skins, combination skins. It's excellent also to add in in the summer months if plants are getting a little bit more oily in the humidity, you can add Derma in. Who is it not for? Not gonna be giving this to clients with dry skins or a very sensitive skin. So some of the ingredients of Derma, octanol enzyme, that helps as a cleanser. Hydrolyzed collagen hydrates and repairs. It's also because it's helping to boost collagen production for clients that may be picking and may be prone to scarring. It's going to help to prevent scarring or heal scarring or clients getting any acne scarring. You've got five peptides in there, proline, glycine, glutamate acid, arginine and alanine. Those again are stimulating collagen, but they're also working on hydration in the skin. And you've got coconut oil in there to help reduce inflammation and clear the acne and strengthen that skin barrier. Remembering with genetic we're always working and strengthening that skin barrier. So how do we use Derma at home? You can apply morning and evening. You can apply two pumps and emulsify it in hands, work up that lava, massage it over the face and neck. It's not recommended for eye makeup removal, although I do know some clients that use it as eye makeup remover, it's not generally recommended. We'd normally use fibro lotion there. Rinse through with lukewarm water. Um, in the evening, repeat again. For clients wearing heavy eye makeup, make sure you use that fibro lotion to remove the eye makeup. Tip, another thing you can do with Derma, you can use it a couple of times a week to give a deep cleanse to um, help balance more combination skin. So if you're using glyco the rest of the time, you can maybe use Derma a couple of times a week just to give a deeper cleanse. Derma is a great option for clients that are becoming con congested, as I said, in the summer months. So just pick that up and use that through those humid months to just give us a good clean. How do we use in salon? So you're going to remove your eye makeup, your lipstick with fibro lotion, then take your derma around a 10 cent coin, foam it up, massage it over the skin and remove with fibrilla. Keep repeating that process until the cloths are completely clean and remembering fibro for eye makeup remover. Moving on to our Sebagere, the purifying lotion. So Sebagere is our lotion for a very oily or a congested skin. Sebagere is an alcohol-free lotion. It helps to regulate um, sebaceous activity and it will help to calm any redness in the skin. It's very effective at balancing the skins of those presenting with acne. It helps to treat inflamed skins and clients with open pores, helps with inflammation and blackheads as well. Remember here, it does stabilize the acid mantle, but the main action here is to reduce that sebum production. So it's helping to normalize oil flow and oil production. Sebagere will in turn clarify and brighten a dull skin. It has a deep cleansing action and leaves a pleasant sense of freshness and a matte look on the skin's surface. So who's it for? Acne prone skins, oily skins, combination skins, helping to treat blackheads, skins prone to excess oil in the summer months. So who's it not for? It's not for dry skins or sensitive skins. We've got lots of nice plant extracts in here. We've got burdock, which is antibacterial. It's a really purifying agent. We've got watercress in here, which is anti seborrheic It helps soothe and tone the skin, gives that freshness to the skin. It's naturally high in the vitamin C to brighten. Myrrh extract cleansing has wound healing action and it helps to strengthen the skin's microbiome. We've got mallow in there, lots of vitamin C and E in it, astringent, emollient, and soothing action. 
plantain in there, helps to combat acne. Plantain promotes skin regeneration, which helps to reduce that scarring. So again, it's working on collagen function. Thyme extract, antibacterial, antioxidant as well, soothing and relaxing. So how do we use it? So you can use it morning and evening after cleansing with derma. You can actually use it after glyco milk as well, if you'd rather. Apply to cotton pads and wipe over the area of congestion. So seven year is to be used on areas of concern. So what we're going to do with it is just pat it over those areas. It doesn't need to be used all over. If you're T-zone and you've just got the oiliness through the T-zone, just use it there. Don't use it on the drier areas because remember, it has that SIBO-regulating action. So it will dry the skin out if you're using it on areas that are drier. In salon, we can use after cleansing, either with your derma or your glyco, and it's fantastic to use after any extraction. So if you do do extraction, after you finish that extraction, Sebagé is excellent to purify the skin. Moving on to a fantastic product, Octo Cream. This is a little wonder, this cream. So it's a little miracle cream that has a powerful drawing action on blackheads. That is its main function. It is to treat blackheads. So it purifies the skin. It will help to reduce the appearance of open pores. It actually will also help to draw out milia infections on the skin as well. So who's it for? Clients whose concern is removing and reducing the appearance of blackheads. Now, when we apply this, we're just going to use it on areas where you've got the blackheads. It has an amazing drawing action. It will draw those blackheads out, and it's quite quick. I have some results very, very quickly with this. For people that have had deep blackheads for a long time, and that's a major concern for them, this product is unsurpassed. So not for clients with active inflamed and cystic acne. The reason for that is it has that drawing action. So if I'm applying it on areas where I've got acne, it's going to purge the skin and draw it out. It is for blackheads, not for acne. So your ingredients in here, you've got almond oil, lots of essential fatty acids in there, the myrrh, which is a resin from those trees, purifying, encouraging a healthy bacteria microbiome on the skin, Burdock is antimicrobial. You've got plantain, and if you don't know, plantain looks a little bit like this. It's like a banana, really. Rich in allantoin, which is really soothing and calming on the skin. Mallow, rich in plant mucilage, which is naturally sugar high, so that helps to hydrate and heal. Also have tannins in it, which helps to soothe. Thyme extract in there, working to regulate those sebaceous glands. So how do we use Octo at home? So after cleansing and before putting your nourishing cream on, Octo is used after fibro or sebaceae and before the application of synchro cream. So we use a small amount wherever those blackheads are. So normally across the T-zone, over those open pores, and then please make sure you follow with Synchro or Synchro 2000. They work together, those two products, and that's going to give you the way that you get the best result with it. But as I say, those blackheads are literally expelled from the skin and it's quite phenomenal the results that you get from that. So in a salon treatment, using on problem areas again, blackheads and dilated pores. If you're going to do extraction, you can use Octo on blackheads, follow with the steamer and you massage while the steam is on just with that Octo. And then you can do your extraction, it'll make extraction a lot easier. And then you can follow up with your application of Sebacher. Now, Pusha, I just wanted to put this in here. This is our balancing cream, and it's for younger clients. It's a fantastic all-in-one moisturizer for clients that are starting to see any um, a little bit of breakout in the skin. So it's an all-in-one cream for young skins without problems or with mild imperfections. Pusha is formulated for young skins to harmonize the skin, harmonize the skin functions. So it works on balancing the pH, it reduces excess oil, and it helps on dilated pores as well. It will also help to soothe the irritation and bring comfort and freshness to the skin. So who is it for? Young skin with presenting with minimal imperfections and breakout. Younger clients looking to maintain and balance their skin with one product. So even if you're not getting the breakout, this is a great introduction to skincare for a younger client. So it's not for clients with a lot of breakout, and it's not for dry or mature skins. It's for those younger teenagers. Our ingredients here, you might recognize a few, burdock and thyme, antibacterial, that myrrh again, mallow, watercress extract in there, that so antiseborrhea, soothing, and it brings a lot of freshness to the skin. It's a really beautiful texture, this client, um, this product for younger clients. You've got allantoin in here as well. That's going to help with tissue formation. It's healing and anti-irritating, and it has a hydrating action as well. 
So to use, you can use this morning and evening. Peugeot can be applied all over the face. It can be used with other genetic creams if they want to. So you can use Synchro 2000 or Synchro over it if they would like to. In a salon treatment, Peugeot can be applied all over the face and massage well into the skin after exfoliation. And then you can follow up with Synchro cream for your massage and the mask of choice in a treatment. So moving on to our mixed and oily cream. Mixed and oily treatment cream is for clients with breakout and acne. So it treats oiliness, congestion, and breakout. Mixed and oily reduces pimples and reduces oiliness. Mixed and oily is extremely efficient for reducing imperfections. It's not for dry skin, and I'm not suggesting it for teenagers either because it has a stronger action. So younger clients, keep them on the Peugeot. This one is a stronger product. It gives amazing results and balances congestion and oil, but keep it for the clients a little bit older than sort of your young teenagers. So what have we got in here? We've got hydroxyproline, which is an oil-soluble amino acid that's a major component of the collagen protein. So it's going to build that collagen. It has a softening and emollient action with lots of fatty acids in it. The caprylic acid is also in here, which is octanoic acid derived from coconut oil. That's antibacterial, antifungal, and it has anti-inflammatory properties as well. You've also got chlorella algae in here and lactobacillus casei, which is that friendly bacteria. So that's going to help to regulate and balance skin function. And it's working on strengthening that skin's microbiome, which is directly linked to the health um, and function of a skin and it's going to work really really well on a more combinational oily skin if we can balance that microbiome and strengthen the hydrolipidic film. You've got B lactoglobulin which is a protein and a fermented filtrate rich in amino acids such as L lactic acid that's hydrating it's balancing again it's going to work on reducing those imperfections. Burdock root, plantain and thyme they balance soothe and are antibacterial as well. So how do we use our mixed and oily at home? It can be used after cleansing. You can apply it everywhere. You only need a small amount. Massage that on the face. You can use it on the chest and the back if you need to as well. But please make sure you follow this up with Synchro. The two, again, they work together. So you need to use your mixed and oily and either use your Synchro cream, a small amount, warmed up and pressed into the skin, or clients that want a lighter texture, that Synchro 2000 used over the top of your mixed and oily. In a salon treatment, you can use that on problem areas of oiliness, blackheads, dilated pores. You can use it on pimples and acneic skin. You're going to apply it after cleansing and exfoliation. And then you're going to do a massage with your Synchro, a light lymphatic massage. Don't overstimulate um, an acneic skin with massage. Keep it more of a lymphatic massage. And then you can follow with your Immuno. You can follow with your Marine Essence Mask. All of those treatments are going to give a great result on an oily combination skin. Now, just to try and summarize some of the information that I've given you here, let's have a look at a skincare routine and how it would look depending on what we're treating. So an oily skin, we're recommending they use Derma, Sebagere, Mixed and Oily, Synchro 2000 or Xeroxy. They can use Synchro 2000 and apply the Xeroxy over the top of it as well. But the Xeroxy is nice and high in vitamin C. It's a light texture and it's really brightening as well. Normal skins with some blackheads, glycofibro, they can use derma a couple of times a week. They can use octo and blackheads only, synchro and gyroxy over the top of that or one or two of the other. Juvenile skins and acne, derma every night to cleanse the skin, mesure to balance, octo on any blackheads three times a week and those bust treatments. So we're recommending generally Ceno lotion there in the bust range for a client um, who's a juvenile and they're going through um, puberty. Now, there are a few support products that I just wanted to mention here because we have a lot of products that are going to really benefit an acneic clients. Demacion de Sur is an all-in-one cleanser we have, but that's a really great option for clients with breakout if they're juvenile or they've got that hormonal digestive acne and the skin's a little bit more sensitive. Immuno mask. Um, immuno mask should always be combined for an acneic skin. It can be used three times a week in the case of breakout. Immuno mask can also be mixed half and half with synchro cream and used at night and massage well into the skin. Leave it on and do that a couple of times a week. In the case of a red or inflamed acne, our genie mask is fantastic at reducing that inflammation and the redness in the skin. And you can do that two to three times a week. Remembering Synchro Cream or the Synchro 2000 should definitely be included for these clients. Synchro should always be used in conjunction with mixed and oily or octo cream. Both creams offer that healing, the repair and that skin health.
Now, Cytopi I've put in this. Cytopi is an excellent addition for digestive or hormonal hormonal acne where the skin is very red and inflamed. Cytopi is really anti-inflammatory. And you'd be surprised at the results that we get on an inflamed acne by combining Cytopi into that routine. We've got the bus product here, the Ceno Bus Lotion. The daily application of Ceno Bus Lotion is recommended in the use of pimples on the jawline and juvenile acne, so that's your hormonal acne. And macro cream, the daily application of Ceno Bus Lotion and macro bus cream is recommended for that, again, that hormonal acne. Adipogasto, I mentioned early, that is more for your digestive acne and apply that to the stomach and the feet and use that daily. So that adipogaster is going to help with elimination. It's going to help to regulate the digestion, which is in turn going to help to improve the appearance of that digestive acne. Now, there's a lot of information there. Um, if you have any question, you can always contact Jemima or myself, Danielle, and we're more than happy to help you with anything else or just ring us on the office. Thank you for your attention today and have a good day.